And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lee Sin. We're going to be playing some control here and that's what we got for the rest of the day. This one's going to be Targon with Ionia with our two very good control champions, Karma and Lee Sin. Lots and lots of spells. The only other units besides Karma and Lee Sin are going to be Solari Priestess and Eye of the Dragon. Um, we have three gifts from beyond in here that can go put eye of the dragon in play because this is going to be a very important card to have because it can get the draglings for us each round uh, for some good defense those lifesteal um, ephemerals looks like we got three sonic waves in here also so those are going to be great with the draglings we want to give those draglings challenger maybe give them the plus two plus zero um, you know use that as like four damage um, removal spells with the draglings We'll have Concussive Palm as defense is another way to put another body into play. And then even a Homecoming that can recall the, the uh, Tail of the Dragon back to our hand. Or recall like a Solari Priestess or something else like that. Um, you know, super cool Star Charts will be in here. Being able to find some more of whatever we need with our Celestial cards if they cost three or less. And there we go. Guiding Touch draws cards. Pale Cascade draws cards. Um, star Shapings at the top end. Wow, no Deep Meditations actually. That's... That was something... Wow, I'm so... Huh. No Deep Meditations. That's surprising. Yeah, that's really surprising. No Deep Meditation, but... Um, oh, well. All right. Like I said, these are viewers made the list today. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, let's give it a try. So, we'll play some Karma Lee Sin. Ooh. We got wrecked by Deep earlier today. We'll see if we can return the favor. Um, Hush is a 3 of in our deck. I could see that being a 2 of for Deep Meditation. Maybe like a Hush and a Sonic Wave. I could see that being the case. Okay, I'm going to keep both of our champions. Which, I could see mulliganing the Karma. To be honest. Good toss for them. Vile Feast isn't that useful of a card, and then two sea monsters that can come back. Should be saving spell mana. Spell mana always valuable. And so then we'll just have like more information about like what we want to do with this super cool star chart. Alright, I could go try to grab the 2-1 Challenger. Which I think maybe I should. Alright, no Challenger. Let's get the Moon Silver. Be able to play stuff a little earlier. Because I could play Lee Sin this turn. Probably worth it. Force is meaningless without skill. Definitely want to get rid of this thing. As far as like uh, devour the depths goes, I guess we're gonna have to use like star shaping. The thing is, I didn't have like another spell I necessarily wanted to play immediately right then, but I do have deny now that can stop the. Okay, there we go. Guiding touch is good. Still have a good play against Devour Depths. Like if I play, okay, cool. Let's say if, like if I play Karma, then that could have been problematic against Devour. 
this is the kind of deck that, you know, like with all these spells and everything, it, it definitely helps to uh, practice a good amount with this deck. And know it pretty well. So this this could be one that I could certainly see myself making some mistakes. I fight with my spirit, with not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. I need to play another spell even for just for like the draggling. But I also can't really play anything. I mean, I guess I could play Karma's Champion spell. That would let me keep denying out to be able to protect Karma. Sight firm. Prepare yourself. That's like the only thing for me to nopify, but again, I'm just really scared to devour adepts, and maybe I'm overly scared to devour adepts. Yeah, maybe I was. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight cards in hand. But yeah, Zoe really insult with Freljord? Yeah, you can do some. Yeah, I bet that works. I, I think that would, would work really well. Yeah, Freljord giving you the, all the Frostbite cards, and then Zoe and really insult, like you have the Celestial top end that's amazing, and. Uh, you slow him down with the frostbite cards. I think, yeah, I think that would work quite well. Okay, so we're going to stun. So they're gonna go deep. They're only one away from deep. All right, never mind. Stun. See that. Your lesson begins. Six of his I'm getting there. Thankfully, the, the barrier happens after that. There's Devourer. So that's the ooh, stage is good too. So that's the last spell that Karma create. No, no, it's, we're at nine. No, we're still good. All right, we will wish upon a star. Still have the obliterate that I was saving for that Nautilus. Yes, I do. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. Just puts that back in their hand. Makes them spend the mana on it again. Maybe I'm supposed to kill the Thorny Toad and toss two more. <laughs> Wish? Karma, stop creating wishes. The answer lies within. What is gained when you return malevolence? Peer into the darkness. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. 
Moonlight warms the heart and lights the way. Come to me. They only have one card left. If it's Atrocity, if I go for Fallen Combat and it's Atrocity, I die. So I probably shouldn't do that. I guess if it's atrocity, I'm just going to die, aren't I? From where I'm set up right now. Yeah, no matter what I do, I die. Because, yeah, I can, I can heal for 10. Go to 19. Oh, no, because then, then I heal again with the with the draggling. So, actually, so no, that's... So, I don't just automatically die. The heal two again with this draggling, so that means so. Well, no, okay, yeah, they would have they they would have atrocity here before damage, then that would have killed me. Yeah, so they could have killed me with that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I'm gonna be burning the top card of my deck. Unless I cast Wish. I'd rather just save the spell mana though. Okay, yeah, we can deal with these cards. See a wish. Or, sorry, see the top card, which I guess was hush. Alright, that'll do. Carmely Sin, getting revenge on Deep from earlier. Thresh, Nasus. So this is the reason to play 3 Hush. It's to stop Nasus. Uh, yeah, this looks like a good hand. There we go. How many people are masters in NA and EU? I don't know about EU. I can I can see an NA because I'm I'm in NA myself. And so like if, if you're in client, you can just go to the leaderboard and check. So I could do that after this game if but maybe somebody else in chat is able to do it. But it, it tells you how many people are in master's rank on the leaderboard in client. thought about attacking. Uh, uh, uh. I'll just do that. I got another hush. That's, you know, three mana kill a four three. Maybe Homecoming was better. Keep them from drawing the two cards. I don't really like any of these. I guess it's written in stars. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. The written in stars can be a spell and help with I the dragon with more spells. Okay, so in EU, there's 2,354 players in Master's rank. That's a lot. And then from NA, looks like about 2,600. Back, 
All right, gonna play that right now to get some spell mana use. Before... Playing this, they probably go Vile Feast. Try Pale Cascade. They did not. Maybe I should have just Pale Cascade and gotten a couple two ones. Anyway. Not doing very good at getting draglings. Need one more mana. Uh, they just saved the vial fees for me to tap out under the Pale Cascade. Smart, 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 smart. Looks like that's Black Spear. You cannot win. Yeah, so I, I really should have got these draglings out better. I, I should not have played Lee Sin last turn. I should have played Pill Cascade last turn, healed the other drag the other Eye of the Dragon would have had two other draglings. I think they 100% for sure have um, three mana deal four, which is why I don't want to have my tail of the dragon block over here. Ready yourself. So they'll be able to kill my eye the dragon either way if they have that, that three mana deal four. No pro no vowel fees, pass. Yeah. Okay, we get a draggling. We get a draggling. We're at six. Our enemies cannot hide. The dragon spirit awakens. Your Whoa, we got Twitch Prime sub, Mando Nando, getting on in here. Thank you, Mando Nando. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First sub of the day. Um, not what I wanted to see. Not too much what I wanted to see. You must know me, little one. You must. Wanted to see the what double obliterate. So this specific list I didn't build myself. The question was why no Zenith Blade. If only more so I don't have a great reason of like why no Zenith Blade. I didn't I didn't build this myself. It can, yes, donation decks can be deck ideas as well. If you want me to build the donation deck for you, I, I will definitely do that. So it can either be a code or a deck idea, either way. Always 
forward. So we're trying to stay out of atrocity range. So the card that I thought was Black Spear earlier, I think, was that ride of negation, but you know, maybe it is Black Spear. If it's Black Spear, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, I think that was a different card, but yeah, so they still they did have Black Spear. Which I'm sad about. To grab the overwhelm. Seven mana overwhelm. The nine mana card's too expensive. Well, let's see. So I can play the nine mana card. I guess I can play that and then Challenger. So we can still have lethal here. So we'll give it a try. Make them atrocity and kill my Lee Sin, I guess. So they have to atrocity, sack their Nasus, kill Lee Sin. Oh, right in negation! Well, I forgot about that. Well, I guess that's an option. They just drew that right in negation off of the draw two also. Well, that worked out really well for them. Now, if they if they do have atrocity for this last card, I guess they win with that spell shield. We drew Nopify, not Deny. That was their last card. Wow, so that was... I, I was confident. I thought I had that, but yeah, I guess that's how we lost, was they had Riot Negation and then Atrocity. Okay, let's try this again. I, I had the two Hushes in the Homecoming. I used a Hush early. It turned out to be a pretty big mistake, as we uh, saw you like, I needed that Hush for later, so... We made a big mistake there. The um, also the nine mana card ended up being a pretty big mistake, <laughs> taking that instead of the seven mana card. As far as um, that goes, so I, I made some mistakes there because that nine mana card just cost too much mana. I need the seven mana overwhelm instead. The celestials. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. I think for all the cards that we have, and we have so many ways to like kind of stop this, I feel like this should be a good matchup. We can lose to the aggro part of the deck, like this kind of stuff. But uh, besides that, I feel like this should be a good matchup. Attacking with the Draggling does give them the Slay with the Hapless Aristocrat, but I don't think I can really stop that. I think that's just how life is. I think we want to go another, you know, go have the other Moon Weapon, put Eye of the Dragon in play. Each 
control the world within. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, I'll have to think about like what to do with Malphite. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't think it's Malphite Talia, because Talia's just not any good. <laughs> and so like maybe Probably have to play Malphite with a good champion and then just kinda have like some landmarks and stuff. Probably put Malphite with Zoe and Celestials. And just throw some landmarks in there. I don't know, we'll we'll figure it out though, but we got some time. Yeah, like there's gonna be more cards with the new expansion and everything. Hmm, I didn't really want, want any of these. I was hoping to grab the stun card. What is gained when we return malevolence? My card can help stop deny. But how do I stop Thresh? Whoa, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Kambuso. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. This would be a very good turn to play Karma normally. But Karma is a 4-3 and Thresh is a 3-6. And those numbers really don't match up very well. Fortunately, I, I just don't have anything else to play. Like, this isn't a good... I mean, I guess I could just play Lee Sin. There's just nothing else to do. Pleasure to see you, Master. So, we don't need to heal our Nexus any. We're attacking for two. All we would be doing is help give them a slay. See what we see, so Yes. We've done very Yeah, we've done very poorly with our our Nobify Deny, right? Like that's the card that we need to Nobify is Glimpse Beyond. We don't have those. Last game we needed to deny atrocity and we drew Nobify. We've done very poorly with our Nobifies and Denies. As the dragon Enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. So they'd be able to black spear that afterwards anyway. If I wait till afterwards to play that. Surprising. So that thing that I blocked was going to be dying anyway. I'm kind of keeping it more difficult for them to go wide. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that Thresh wasn't blocking the Eye of the Dragon. Honestly. Or, like, wasn't challenging that. That was a surprise. What 
is gained when we return malevolence. Not sure what we're going to do with Deathmark yet. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. To ruin. Azir's command! Your lesson begins. I will not hold back. They have more black spears? I guess I could use the death mark on that, but okay, sweet. I was planning on just playing the other Karma that was in my hand. That, that was my plan, was just to play second Karma. First game. Even good matchups, you're not going to win them all, but that, that looked to be a pretty good matchup. You know, I, I lost the first game. Okay, Deny is good, but... I don't know. All these are, like, you know, just fine. Again... I'll mulligan Sonic Wave, but I could see Sonic Wave with Dragling helping taking down Draven or Ezreal, but then again, they could use removal on those. So actually, let's mulligan both of those. Okay, so I should have played that on turn two. I was thinking... Yeah, I should have played that on turn two. Would I, have an, would I have had an extra mana if I would have played it last turn on turn two? Then it would have had the two, then the three, Watch and learn. then three. Yeah, I would have had an extra mana for Pale Cascade. I was thinking that like I was going to play it on turn two, and then they were going to Thermogenic Beam for three, and then I was going to try to... Uh, then I would, wouldn't have had the mana for Pale Cascade, but of course with the a tune, I would have still had the mana for Pill Cascade. Now, it turned out they had Culling Strike, so if I played on turn two and they just Culling Strike on turn two, then it's, you know, then it doesn't matter. But I would still have the Sonic Wave in hand at least. Yep, yeah, those are Ionia's main card draw, Shadow Assassin, Deep Meditation, River Shaper. Okay, there's Lee Sin. Should have just played both those at the same time, I think. What is gained when you return malevolence? Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Okay, Ezreal's already at four. So 
So I have two extra cards in hand than what they do. All right, so I have to hit Moon Silver. Come on, Moon Silver. Oh, wrong zero made a card. Oh, I need Moon Silver. Oh wait, I guess it still levels it up, so it goes to six health. Sweet. Never mind, still good. Still good. I was thinking I need the Moon Silver for the barrier, but it's still barely good. Barely good. Okay, so I took Equinox because of Captain Farron, because, you know, like, we're going into turn 8. I was thinking maybe they go Captain Farron with the Overwhelm, all that stuff. If I pass, they pass. Is that good for me? I think with Karma and then, you know, like, Star Shaping Guiding Touch after the Karma, we should be able to heal our... And, you know, of course, with Dragonlings, we should be able to heal our Nexus again. And so I'm not as worried about taking that damage. Don't blink or you miss me. Charge. Too many Mystic Shots. This is the card I want to play, Cosmic Inspiration. But then they can stun my Lee Sin. I'm gonna play this. This gives me that opportunity still for Cosmic Inspiration afterwards, or um, if they kind of tap out or you know tap lower, maybe I played the Karma. Yeah, I w that's true. I w it'd be nice to be able to play Karma and have Karma survive and go to next turn, and yeah, then we can double Star Shaping, double Guiding Touch, double Cosmic Inspiration, all of that kind of stuff. I have no protection for Karma right now. But if I Cosmic, it'd be harder for them to kill Karma also. But like right now, with it being a 4-3, it's so it's pretty easy to kill a 4-3. Alright, sorry, Cosmic Inspiration. We'll have to wait till I get another Celestial card before I'm playing you. to play Karma there. The answer lies within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I am the future. Okay, this will put me down to six. Time for the main event. All right, they may kill the karma again now, but karma kind of did it. 
her job of double this thing. That's the thing too, I suppose. All right, that'll do. Carmelie Sin, three and one. And back to Thresh Nasa. So I'm, I'm glad we're playing this matchup again. We're one and one with versus it. Um, I think it, it it's felt like a good matchup. I think I made some mistakes in the game that we lost. Um, so let's try it again for the third time. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the star shaping and the concussive palm right away. Yeah, I feel the rush is is difficult to to fit through right negation. Spell mana. I must be known. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. I'll just wait. We can you know, obviously these gifts from beyond are supposed to go get either dragons. Me, I'll just wait. I'll get because basically I'll get either dragons on my attack turn. So that we'll have the uh, draglings as protection for them attacking. Instead of getting it right now and getting a dragling on my attack turn. Um, I don't think I've played Kindred and Shivana together. I can't think of a Kindred Shivana deck that I've played. I don't think so. I do like Shivana and Kindred both as champions. I just don't think I've played them together. Okay. That's fine. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. So we're about both Black Spear and uh, Riding Negation as far as going with that is. Okay. Alright, well. Sand Spinner's not bad. I'm down to nine. Never mind, down to a lot more. Or a lot less, sorry. Down to six. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have to do stuff, right? Because if I pass, sure, they waste mana, but they have, like, that pretty good open attack. I don't get a draggling. So, like, if they have Black Spear, I'm in trouble, I suppose. And, like, a Vile Feast wouldn't be necessarily so bad for them. Prepare yourself. 
I'm not gonna have my Lee Sin challenge the 5 3 though and let them Vile Feast to the barrier from the Lee Sin. Man trade. Don't also have Black Spear, just go to the next turn. Hooray. I'm kind of regretting just not just passing the turn. But. I don't know, we got a lot of cards out of their hand. Can we stabilize against this Shadow Isles acro? This was good for me that they did this before combat. And, uh, and of course, drawing this Gifts from Beyond, also very good for getting the second spell in here for Eye of the Dragon and for the barrier for Lee Sin. I feel like I maybe kind of need the Severum. Next turn, I'm going to have eight mana. So I'm not really playing it next turn, but I could if I go Crescendum. No, it's Crescendum still. Their heartbeats quicken. I will not hold back. The dragon binds us. Gotta hope they don't have any more Vile Feast. They've already played two. Why no life steal? Basically, because the the drag like the this thing is gonna get life steal stuff also like life steal blockers. I mean, I guess I am dead to atrocity. I didn't realize I was going down to four. I can't can't stop that. Oh wait, I have deny. Never mind. I can't stop that. Where did deny show up? I don't know where that card showed up from. <laughs> yeah, because that was our top deck. Better to lucky than good. So yeah, I don't have one for another Nasus, but they only have one card in hand. So like, if their last card's a Nasus, then they probably don't have an Atrocity also. What is probably. Alright, good notify. Should maybe play a spell. Heart and mind as well. But you know, playing some defense. I only speaks through me. Um you no know, super cool star chart, but let's let's do this instead and see what's up. Pass to them. See if they want to play Nasus here. If so, I'll challenge it. Because, you know, challenging a 3 1, it's not like a 3 1's going to kill me. I'm planning on passing turn. Okay, yeah, they pass. I'll just pass, reset my mana, get even with them, have all these spells. Um, 
yeah, I don't I don't really see how we lose this game anymore. cards really help me. I guess like the deal four, deal one, but eh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like we just, we just play that one spell there and it counts as two because it karma casts it again. So you do cast two spells. Yeah, that's true. One one flurry does the quick attack, then the double attack with Karma in play. That's that's true. That's a good point. That's pretty cool. So I should be able. Yeah, so I should be able to kill them here. What is gained when we return malevolence? I guess I could die to double atrocity though if I if I go for the kill. Prepare yourself. I could die to double atrocity. No, 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 no. So I guess if they just let damage happen, I'll just let damage happen. Yeah, because otherwise I could lose a double atrocity. Because I can I can stand united and switch spots and then flurry of fists and kill you know, I can, so I can do like that combo to kill them, but I'm just gonna let damage happen. Now I guess I could just play another resonating strike though. No real harm in doing that. Try heal Nexus another four. I panicked there for a little bit because I was like, where's my deny? I was like looking at my hand here. I was like, what happened to the deny? But it's way over here on the left. I guess we played all those other cards. And so it's way over there. Breathe in, breathe out. This too shall end. Spell shield's not a very big deal with Karma. I'd rather have both Homecoming and Deny available for multiple atrocities, because right, like that's what they need is like multiple atrocities. Um, but then, of course, still.
I guess that only gets rid of Spell Shield. Doesn't happen twice. Could also just stand united. I think this deck this deck's tricky to play. It takes like some practice and everything, but I think this deck is pretty favored in this matchup. If we win this game, which we should, we'll be two and one against it, but I think that I had the tools to win the first time that I lost. Um Enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. They could do 19 to me with Atrocity. There's a more powerful top end than Zoe Lee with having the Karma and the double spell. So their hand was just all three Nasus. Well, obviously I can't stand United. I have five mana, it costs six. The question is, is do I deny this? If I don't deny it, then that thing's a 22-16. Alright, so we're not going to deny it. And so we're just going to see what happens with these cards. Alright, so Karma has Spell Shield. We'll go ahead and quick attack, then double attack the Karma. Go ahead and challenge this over here. And so if they have two atrocities, they kill me. I think I was supposed to deny that, that, that Siphoning Strike. I think I had to deny it, honestly. Because, like, if I deny the Siphoning Strike, then they can't, they can't win the game, right? Because, like, with, without denying it, they could have won the game with two atrocities. But if I deny it, then, then their Nasus is still at 19 and I'm at 20 life. And, and who cares if they have atrocity because that only does 19 damage. All right, so Karma Lee Sin looked really good, and it looked good in like this slower meta game that we have here. Definitely looked really good against the Thresh Nasus deck. I did end up losing once, um, which you know, even even if your deck's really good in a matchup, you're not going to win 100% of the time. Newsflash, but you know, like I think I had the tools to win that game that I lost. Um, but you know, it's just a kind of a newer deck for me and and uh, newer play style, and and took me a little bit to get used to it. Ended up coming back and beating Thresh Nasus the second and third time we played it, um, and won our other two matches as well. Um, Eye of the Dragon was really impressive, and we just had, you know, gifts from beyond to always make sure to get get those Eye of the Dragons, get plenty of those. Um, yeah, so I, I think this this deck honestly looks pretty good, and then leveled up Karma at the end of the games really helped out with being able to double up our, our spells, you know, like uh, Star Shaping and Guiding Touch and everything like that. So yeah, we have kind of a slower metagame right now, um, and uh, Hush is really good, right? Like, lots of, lots of Thresh Nasus everywhere and i think that i really do think that this felt like it was very well positioned against thresh nasus you can you can definitely lose to the aggressive shadow isle parts of the deck but it felt pretty good against other parts of the deck um i did i did really want a third deny in here that was one that you know like we lost to atrocity of time because we had nopify and we needed deny um i i don't think it should be two and two i it doesn't feel like I think it should probably be three and one I would that's like just the only one small change that I would recommend is just play play three deny deny is amazing and just play one nobify I don't I don't think it's worth being two and two besides that um, everything else with the deck felt pretty good even though I know like at the beginning I was talking about how I want a deep meditation in here um, you know maybe over like a sonic wave a deep meditation but sonic wave was honestly pretty important especially like with these draglings and we have the draglings really every game with having the gifts from beyond being able to put the draglings in play. So I liked it. 
Um, yep, yeah, we just have Priestess, I, and then the Champions for the units, but then, of course, we'll get the Draglings. We have the Tail of the Dragon here. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's that's the one change that I'd make. Take out a Noblefy, put in another Deny, and that extra Deny, you know, that could have saved us against the atrocity of the game that we did end up losing. But uh, that's going to be it here for Karma Lee Sin. Good looking deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate those. But thanks so much for watching some Karma Lee Sin, and I will see you for the next video.